to the supermarket across the road to get some sweets for our Chinese sweets test. Yeah, we're going to do a brief comparison of what the candy in China is like compared to anything. Okay, see you later. In the supermarket, the Chinese supermarket, we're going to pick some sweets and snacks. Right. Um, they look, they look alright. Pick them out, okay. Um, mixed fruits and vegetables dried. Oh. I'll do it. Um, anything weird and wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Some squid. I actually tried it, it was okay. Some spicy squid strip. We've bought our snacks, our candy, and now we're going to eat it. So the way we're going to do this, uh, we've got a bag here full of numbers from 1 to 7. Um, out of shot are our snacks, each has a corresponding number. We'll take it in turns, once a number is pulled out of the bag, we will eat that sweet or snack. So let's give it a go. Who's going first? I'd better go first, I think. There you go. Number five, which is? Okay, it is... Crunchy sesame candy. So this is apparently a candy made of sesame seeds, like you get on the top of a burger. But, yeah, so it's open. So let's break it open and... Uh... Oh, so it's... Yeah, so they're individually wrapped. They, they do enjoy... Uh... Things in plastic. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty random. Yeah. Oops, here we go. Hmm. Wow. Have you ever seen uh, owl droppings? Are they hard? Uh... Oh my god, yeah, very hard. <laughs> you have to suck them again, but yeah. bite, bite straight through. Do it. Yeah, yeah, there's an age restriction if you're over 60, you can't eat these. Yeah, well, they're crunchy. So <laughs> they've done what they've said on the packet. What, what do they taste like? <coughs> it's like your face says it all, really. Yeah, just, um, yeah, ses very sesame seedy. Very sesame seedy. Are they sweet? Yeah. Sweet. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, so. Hmm. But the question is would you buy them again? Yeah, because they take a long time to eat. Like, I'm still eating the same one. So if you took these on a bus, on a long bus journey, it could probably last you the whole way. Good car sweets. Mm, yeah, yeah, good car sweets. So, rating out of 10? Six. Six. Wonderful. Okay, my turn. Okay. I have got number three, which is strawberry pastry something. It looks like from the packet it is a croissant with some strawberry custard inside. Yeah, it looks a bit like a croissant. Get into this. Mm. Yeah. Very crummy. They're actually really good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I have one. Very, they, they taste exactly like I'd expect. Yeah, these are really nice. Crunch, crunchy on the outside, like a really dry croissant with some strawberry custardy creamy stuff in the middle. Re really, really good actually, really good sweet snack. 
But it's really crunchy because most things that are dry are usually a bit chewy and a bit sort of carbonic. This is, this is crunchy. Especially here in China, you can be chewing on yeah. something for <coughs> four hours. Yeah. But no, these, these are really good. I'd recommend them. I'm giving them a solid eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay, Rob. Your next stop. see on the packet China's obsession with Disney, their Disney sweets, Mickey Mouse, and randomly the Chinese symbol there for marriage. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you give your loved one a pack of these. And you love you yeah, she, 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 she knows you've really declared your love and you give her a pack of sweets. Okay. Again, individually wrapped. What a surprise. Um, they don't scream from packaging here. Oh man, yeah, and if you look at it, it's just like... It's more than a marble, the sweet that's in here. Okay. Again, the kid just put these all in the bag, but <coughs> I'm not complaining. Um, okay. Well, it's milky, it looks chewy. Mm. Yeah, it's not. Sounds rock hard, is it? No, it's just chewy. That's alright. It's like those milk bottles we get back in the morning. Oh, right, like a foamy. Chewy. Just chewy. Yeah. Gummy. Not much. Gummy. Gummy. Ah, oh, nice. Out of ten. I'll have a try one. Yeah, no. Um, seven out of ten. Yeah, I see what you mean. They taste familiar. Mm. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Hasn't beaten the custard croissant things. Yeah. Nice aftertaste, actually. Mm. It tastes like condensed milk. Yeah. yeah. I have got number one, which is mixed fruits and vegetables dried. So, by the looks of it, this kid's giving a sign of approval. Yeah. We've got bananas, durian, which more commonly is known as the stinky fruit. Yeah. We've got, I don't know, what is that? A turnip or a yam or a sweet potato or something. Well, you know? that is, yeah, it's, I can't remember the name. Yeah. Oh, taro, that's taro. it, yeah. So I reckon... Yeah, it's like a pink potato, sweet potato. Yeah. I reckon these are gonna be literally a mixed bag some will be nice, some will probably be gross. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's tough to get into. Dry sprouts and those, yeah. Go in the tea. Sm <sighs> smells of nothing. Oh, what's that? I am going for this. I have no, have no idea what that is. Is that the taro? Probably. Yeah, it's like a potato chip. That tastes of absolutely <laughs> nothing. All right. <laughs> cool. That, that is just a crunchy stick. No salt, nothing. Well, if it tastes like nothing, then at least it doesn't taste bad. Yeah, exactly. So. Better than the sort of banana or mango or something, is it? Yeah. Durian. Yeah, it's durian. This one tastes 
absolutely indistinguishable from the first one I had. Yeah, they all taste the same. If you did a blind taste, you wouldn't have a clue what these are. You might be able to have a bash of banana, but... Yeah. Who you knows? Know what? No, it's not bad. I barely beat my expectations, to Ah, and these are also halal. Ah. There we go. Rob, you're up next. was going to pick this. Um, yeah, no, it was a bit of a gamble when we decided to buy it as well. It still is a gamble for me, isn't it? Show the camera. Yeah. Um, mystery meat on a stick. Mystery meat. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a tiger on the front of the bag, so if it's tiger, I'll be quite happy, because I've never eaten a tiger. <laughs> Got to love endangered species. Yeah, yeah. Got that endangered animal tang. Yeah. yeah. Staple these things shut, as you would it is it's a, it is meat. I was going to say, they have lots of other dried meats on offer. Watch it, that's definitely made for the nest. Oh, it looks like it's been dried in the oil as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It smells, it smells top here, it? doesn't smell unpleasant. It just smells very spicy. Are these leaves here? Uh, yeah. like oh, good. no. They came off quite easily, so... What? What on earth? Yeah, as long as it's in a nice sauce and it's got a nice, um, it's been covered in lots of, well, I don't think it'll be covered in additives, so I, I know we can't read Chinese, but the Chinese are quite good at not putting tons of additives in. Well, that symbol's Chinese for cancer. Oh, yeah. um, kind of taking the point out of the game, we're just eating everything now anyway. It's nice. I would have no way of knowing what meat that is. No. If it is meat. And it's tofu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's tofu. I'd eat it again. Not. I reckon those would be better hot. I don't know, actually, it might reveal the actual meat flavour. <laughs> Out of ten, but not really a sweet, so I'll give it a no. seven. Give, give it for what it is. Seven as a meat stick. Yeah. A number seven rated meat stick. Okay, next. Oh, cool. Meat's on this junk of the table. Ugh. I've got number two. Come on down. Okay, this has a picture of a smiling cow and a real cow in front, which means one of two things. It's either a milk chew that we had earlier, or it's beef. Yeah, because they're literally all in the same aisle, like, except for the meat on the stick, but this was in the same aisle as the sweets that we just had. They come on a tray. They smell very fusty, so they're... <laughs> Definitely not sweets. Oh no, you don't have meat. Okay. Meat cube. Oh no. A tiny cube of meat oh, with se God. with seeds. Getting stuck in between my teeth, like I said, it falls apart in your mouth, but it's it's not like horrible. It tastes sort of... It's not horrible, I don't know. 
I, I, I'd, say, I'd say like beef jerky or something like this. Right, si- si- sim- similar to. Right, I'll give it a go. But just yeah, in cube yeah. form. Weird. Yeah. Very, very weird. Beef jerky. Yeah. It's like beef jerky, but probably not properly beef, is it? I do really think that the packaging is misleading, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, can't, it comes, it literally looks exactly like a sweet, and then you open it, and it's got meat inside. Wonderful. You know, probably in the box of celebration. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Someone's getting a surprise. Okay, la- last week, there's not much more point picking out a number, but we'll do it anyway. Those shoelaces can be shoelaces, doesn't it? No. What, do you, what do you reckon, sweet or sour? Sour is. Yeah. Sour. Right. Okay, I reckon it'll be horribly sour. There's no warning for like sour things or spicy things, there is there? Probably is, we just can't read it. <laughs> Deliciously sort of, because you know they douse it in, well, you can see it's got sugar all over it. I was expecting it to be like a really sweet sort of orange squash sort of smell, but yeah, like, have a look at that. We look really honestly, they, they, they really stink. They smell like very old oranges. You know what? It's probably fresh fruit, which just has been in the package for a year. <laughs> the funny thing is, I expect these to be uh, not, I think this is real orange, uh, real apple, isn't it? Real yeah. apple, real apple. These are actually legitimately real slices of apple, not the uh, Haribo's sort of gummy, sugar, conform, whatever it is. Go in for it. How is it? Better, better, much better than no. Let's have a go. Thanks for the mm, crazy. Trying to figure out the texture out, it, it reminds me of something. Ah, oh, I know. Um, school bars. School bars. Oh, yeah. S K O O L. Yeah, you're right. Because they did apple flavour as well. They taste exactly like school bars, if you remember them. I'm not sure you will. Yeah, nice. They're alright. No, they, smell, they smell disgusting. Yeah, it's not really. Really. Like, like really, really bad. Not like. a strong apple smell, like compost. Apples in a compost bin. Like if you're hung over and someone wave, <laughs> if if you're hung over and someone wave that up under your nose, there's no way you're keeping anything up. That is putrid. Okay, well, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed watching us try Chinese snacks. Um, We've enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot better than I thought. We'll try something more challenging next time. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, you, this video. Obviously, we're both new at this, so if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Yep. Ta-ta.